Just finished the first episode of Tsukimichi Moonlit Fantasy. It is on Crunchyroll so far. There's only one, one episode, I think. Um, yeah, it's not letting me even go to detail, so it must be one episode. Um, if you like things like Kono Suba, it, this is probably in your ballpark. I can already tell I'm going to like it. I saw um, a trailer for it and went, I'm going to like this. <laughs> So basically, it is about our protagonist, who is uh, Isekai, and he gets to meet, oh fuck, Tsukuyomi no Mikoto? I butchered that, I know I did. But was it like the god of the moon or whatever the fuck it is? Sorry. Beautiful, beautiful man. Anyway, and apparently really nice. And he's like, so, um, your parents were kind of from another world, and they made a contract with the Scottish to go to your world, the one, you know, currently, currently now Earth, essentially. And, um, but they made a pact that, you know, eventually they would give up what's most important to them. And our protagonist, I believe his name is Mikoto, did I get his name wrong? God damn it, I literally just watched it, and it's just out of my head. And, um, he's like, so if I don't go, like, my, uh, my sisters, well, instead, he's like, uh, or the god's like, yeah. So he's like, okay, I'll, I'll go. And, um, he's like, this goddess is very difficult to handle. She's got her problems, but please be patient with her. And he's like, okay, I'll, I'll be patient. And he gets there, and this bitch is rude. Like, she immediately is like... Oh, great, you're here. Oh, 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 God, you're not hot. You're ugly. There's not any hotness in you. Are you even their kid? Like, just very rude. Like, punch a bitch. Thoughts. Rude. And she's like, ugh. Anyway, I have other hot heroes. I don't need you. So I guess I'll just send you to the end of the earth. But I guess I have to give you some powers or something. Even though they're like, ugh, I don't want to. She doesn't talk about it, girl. But she's... So rude, gives him some power, and she basically it's he can speak and write, read any of the language of any other creature, and kind of like the last thing she says, and uh, stay away from my humans, I don't want your seed mixed in, and then just drops him like literally just bear. Like, as he's falling, she's like, I wonder if it'll kill him. I don't want to see him, he disgusts me, and just like uh, Mikoto shows up and he's like I I didn't think she'd do that I'm sorry and he's like okay um you know I'll I'll give you some powers and you know because she removed your title of hero just in my name go and do whatever you want you have freedom and kind of like he still kind of has a hard fall but he doesn't like he makes he sticks to landing and um, he kind of wanders around for like three days like, no food, no water. He's like, I wonder if I can still move. It's because I'm superhuman. And supposedly he kind of always had, like, abilities, but, like, Earth or whatever was just putting a huge strain on it. So he's, he said, uh, the guy's like, you should be pretty strong in this world. He's kind of walking around, and he hears, help me! And he's like, finally, it's fucking someone! So he, like, hauls ass as much as he can. Or as fast as he can. As much as he can, that makes sense. So he hauls ass as fast as he can over there. And uh, it's, like... Honestly, like a Cerberus, but with two heads. Two headed dog. Like attacking this girl. And it's, uh, she, she's a Highland orc. So it's like, think adorable, think adorable Miss Piggy. With big shoujo eyes. And like, long pretty blonde hair. And kind of like, uh, thick braids. Pig, pig tail braids. The thing you, I don't know what the fuck it's called. The little like flower clips I think she had. And he like, introduces himself and one shots this thing and she's like oh oh I oh like he literally just it was like a side top of a mutt where he just boom huge hole of sun through this thing's body and just did I do that <laughs> and was, this orc uh, is like like a little video game kind of like dialogue comes up and it's like would you like to flee impossible or fight even more impossible. Just give up? Yes. <laughs> She's like, ha ha. And uh, we find out that, oh, I forgot her name unfortunately, but she's super adorable. 
and she's uh, apparently there's this mist around the village and whenever they sacrifice one of their own this mist goes away for at least a little bit and it's, it's like affecting the crops and stuff and it's kind of her turn and she's like i can't really do anything for you but i'm going to this divine mountain and you know along the way there is this like kind of rest stop and you can like wash yourself off and you know and she teaches him a little bit of magic and she's like he must be level 200 or 300 and then she checks it and it's level one and he's just like <laughs> so it's very like Cosma in a way from Konosuba so like I said it, it's viewed like that you're probably gonna like this and then he decides after I'm sorry are you so exhausted today just I'm not feeling good at all and it's causing me to be just like tired without being tired tired you know oh god I'm starting to tear up sorry and um so yeah she like teaches him some magic he learns it pretty quickly and he kind of just decides to go off and uh, fight this Shen or whatever this thing is that is essentially causing this mist. Is it's I think they said a god or something. I don't know. I don't think they said a god. I, I'm so, I said I'm tired. Um, but um, but I really liked it. So I wanted to get a, a first impression view out. And um, he kind of decides uh, that it's probably a good idea to leave and she like gave him some magic and or she taught him some magic and gave him some basic equipment and he left her a letter saying you know thank you I'm gonna go see if I can do anything about this Shen and uh, he decides you know I should probably get out of here because I don't want to trigger a marriage event because <laughs> you know East guy and um, also you know I should probably practice my magic and he sees like this at uh, this Tory gate and, um, it's, I don't know how to describe it, a Tory gate, just, just like a, uh, Japanese Tory gate. And it's like a red thing. And he, uh, decides to turn his fire magic that she taught him into, he can, like, manipulate the shape of it, so he should turn it into a bow and arrows. And he kind of hits the Tory gate, Tory gate gets destroyed. And also there's a bunch of, like, bodies lying around, like, are you with the orcs? Did they send you? I don't know, I'm talking like some weird old man from like a fucking fantasy RPG. I don't know what's going on there. It was entertaining then. At least for me. Um, and he's like, but you've angered Shan, we were subjugating the orcs, but now you did something stupid and hit his house and then you will have his wrath and that's what you deserve. And brr, turn to dust. And then uh, Shen comes out, Shen's a dragon. And he's like, in mythology it's supposed to be like a clan that creates mi mirages, but uh, that doesn't really apply here. Different world. So it's a, it's a dragon really cool looking dragon and they have a fight and then she kind of decides to it is a she you can tell by the voice decides to kind of like trap him in this little like illusion and kind of like kill him with happiness I guess I don't know and he eventually gets out of it and while he's in it though uh she is looking through his memories and she sees something interesting and she wants to ask him about it and she's like I don't feel hostile towards him anymore and I'm really curious about this I want to ask him and then he comes out and he's like Thank you for showing how pathetic I am. And he's like, he's about to do like his fucking battle stance and shit. And then she's just like, roll over on her stomach, like, let's be friends. And he's just like, I'm sorry, what? And she wants to have a contract. And uh, so they kind of form a contract. And apparently it's like an 80 20%. She's like, well, I'm kind of basically a slave at this point, but uh, I'm curious to see what he'll do. And then she turns into uh, Bishojo, of course, like human form. And uh, that that is the start of our first episode. It is on Crunchyroll. Like I said, there's one episode. I don't know what day it comes out. I wasn't really paying attention. But I'm definitely enjoying it. Like I said, if you like Konosuba, you'll probably like this. He does give me uh, kind of Cosmo vibes. And um, this is definitely going to be a comedy uh, adventure. But if you see the opening, it kind of gives me a lot of those... Uh, like it's gonna be hard for him vibes kind of like and like you see him crying you see blood and I'm just like I doubt it's gonna be all happy fun rainbows and comedy like I expect he's gonna get like hurt quite a bit like I expect it kind of in the way that uh, some of inspired so what where like yes they're very upbeat they have very interesting companions and interesting story and there's some fun lightness but there are definitely gonna be some darker parts but I'm just going off the the animation of it and as for the ending song, I really like it. It's it's very fantasy, 
It's very um, catchy. And I like it. I think you should watch it.